Hello everyone, Courtney here from How to Loom Your Dragon. Welcome to the final part of the baby alicorn tutorial. So, so far you should have pretty much almost finished her. Um, she is now wired up, hopefully you wired yours. Um, but we have not done her stomach yet or attached it. So that's what we're going to do. You will also need the stuffing or the fiber fill for this portion. Um, or you can use like cotton balls or paper towels, but I personal, personally prefer the fiber fill. Okay. So I took off one column because we don't need it. We only need five, okay? So I'm taking two bands at a time of white. You can make the stomach color different from the body color if you want to, but I am not. I am keeping it white because I do want her to match the adult as much as possible. Okay, now here, I'm actually going to double loop down to bottom. Okay, so single bands, double looped. I just don't want them to be twisted. Okay, now for my horizontals, I'm taking two, stretching them all the way across here. Two more stretched all the way across there. Two more here. Two more here. Two more here. And now I'm going to double loop single bands across all three pegs. Okay. Now you're going to take your alicorn, and we have the tying bands under her chin, which we are going to be attaching here, okay? So, I'm kind of, she's upside down, and I'm kind of twisting her head underneath to be able to attach the bands. So, I'm going to wrap the first set of loops around this peg here. Then the middle set. I'm going to wrap around the middle part. And this set, I'm going to wrap around this piece, okay? All right, I'm going to loop all the way up the center, okay? For a horse. <laughs> Looks completely uncomfortable. <laughs> okay, now, like we were doing before with other parts, we're taking white bands and just laying them along the edge here. Just single ones. We don't have to do two at a time. We can just do one. Okay, I'll start with this side. 
Okay, we can add more as we go, because they do tend to fall off a lot of the time, so it might be easiest just to put them on as you go, but you want to loop as if they're not even there. Same thing we were doing before with... Oops, looks like I missed this one. So I'm going to put one on there. Now as I go, I can put more on here, and then I'm going to actually, we have to do the vertical all the way up first, okay, and then I can put some more like this, okay, alright, let's do the other side, again we can add them as we go. So if you're doing a stomach that's, uh, that's a different color than the body, you want to make sure these loose edge bands are the color of the body, not the stomach. Okay, otherwise you're going to have a weird looking stripe going along the side of your horse. Okay, just so you know. I know it's kind of late to tell you that now, but if you've done my creations before, you should understand that at this point. Hopefully... bands of any color and just tie off your ends. Okay, make sure you get all the loops as usual. Using random colors here, it doesn't matter what color you use. You want to be gentle here, actually, because these are double looped bands. Okay, you want to pull all the loose bands out, outward toward the edge. Okay. She's just going to be so adorable when she's done. Oh, I love her already. I hope you love your horsey. <laughs> Alright, so, let's continue. So for this next part, we're just laying white bands two at a time all the way down all the columns. You know what's funny is I'm using all the white bands that I didn't use for the adult one. And I didn't even think I'd have enough for the adult and I actually happen to have hopefully enough for the adult and the baby. Which is pretty funny. Sometimes I tend to overestimate. But I do that just to be safe. <laughs> so it worked out.
take two at a time here. Okay, I'm going to take two, stretch them all the way across, and here, and here, and here. Okay, so now you're going to take your guy and you're going to go through the loops here, pull off the tying band, wrap them all around here. We actually are going to have to put a horizontal band down here because otherwise the neck will widen at this point if we don't put one on and it'll just look weird. So you'll just have to trust me. I have to lift all the top bands off, so lift up these two. These two, we can actually take that loose one away. Now that we're putting some horizontals on. Okay, take two horizontals and just stretch them all the way across all five pegs. Yay! And then we can put a band on the peg and replace the loops and push down as far as it'll go. Okay, so now I'm just reattaching the loops onto all the pegs. Now let's put a loose band here and reattach. Yay! <laughs> okay. Now I'm gonna go up the three center columns. Okay, now as we go up this, the edges, we are going to put the loose white bands on, okay, like we were doing before. Oops.
Okay. And again, taking random bands, tying off your ends, and then we have one more section, small section. And we want to again pull all these edge bands outward. Okay. Okay, just a little more. Okay. Hmm, took two bands. We're going to start on the Sixth peg in the middle, one, two, four, five, six. Six to seventh peg. And then we're just taking two at a time, just going down the middle. Okay, take two here, and two here, and now we are double looping, um, one here, and one here, and then we're going to take two here. Oh man, I feel like I have just enough white bands. Whew, okay. I have a couple left, okay. Um, it doesn't matter which direction you attach it, so I'm just going to wrap loosens around the pegs. You don't actually need to take the tying bands off till after this time because we're not going to attach a set of horizontals here. Unless you want to, you can. If you want to be a perfectionist like I usually am, you can do it, but I'm not doing it. I am not doing it. I'm working on this thing all day. I don't feel like doing it. Okay. So I'm just going to take the loose bands on the edge. Wow, it's amazing how close. There, you want to put two here on that part, okay? Now you want to dig down and loop this one first. And this one. Up there, okay. Alright, so then we're going to take two and tie a slip knot with both of them at the same time. Yay! And then very carefully we're going to take this off. Oh my goodness, it's so exciting! You don't need your loom anymore, put it over there. Yeah. Alright, we want to take off the five random tying bands here. Okay. 
No. Ooh, what happened there? Oh, sorry, I just gotta fix this wire really quick. Whilst I still can. came out there. Okay. We can take off the three tying bands under the chin as well. Yay! Okay. All the bands are pulled to the edge. Don't miss any. Okay, now you're going to take your hook, and I'm going to start, she's kind of right side up, this set right here, I'm going to go through all four loops of this set, and I'm going to pull the first loop through that, tuck it down on my hook, then go to the next set. We're only focusing on the edge sets here, from the top, okay? So I'm going to go through all four loops of the edge sets from the top, and just pull each band through in order, make sure you go through each one and pull them through in order. Okay, we're going to go down the one side, then we'll go back down the other side and stuff it as we go. Sometimes it'll come undone. You just gotta do your best, work with it, recover it. Oh, these two here, the ones we put, where we put two on the same peg, you want to pull one in each direction. So, yeah. Just... Okay, the last set here, I'm going to pull one of the tying bands through that set. Just like that. Okay. Now I can stick a pencil or something through this loop or another hook just to hold it while we work on the other side. Get your fiber fill ready. <laughs> okay. Sometimes the eyelashes will come undone. Sometimes I have to redo them. So starting on the exact same one on the opposite side. Okay. Just continuing.
think I'm going to stuff her neck only because I don't want it to be too thick because she is supposed to be a baby. So I'm not going to stuff her neck really. Okay, about here, I'm going to grab some of the fibrofill and stick it in her. I'm going to stuff her neck a little bit just to, so it's not all foldy and flimsy, but uh, shouldn't need to put too much in there. Okay, and just keep going. get most of this area to this cavity because it will be closing up. Make sure you have it stuffed good before we close it up. Okay, so we'll just stuff it in there and we can close it up. So you can grab both loose ends on your hook, so it looks like this. Oh, she's so cute! And then, grab them on your finger, go into the stomach and come out near where they are, pull them, whoops, pull them through, and here we can put a C clip on them and tuck them back in. And there you have your baby horse, alicorn, pegasus. Let me just clear off this workstation and I will show you her. What a disaster. <laughs> I had 10 white bands left. <laughs> Man, that was lucky. That was so lucky. Okay. So, here she is, with her little tail. So, depending on how you wired her, she might be able to stand up and bend her wings. And her neck should be able to bend too, yeah. So she can be all perky. Babies. Her feet are sprawling out a little bit, but uh, overall I think she looks really cute. Hee <laughs> hee. Baby. Yeah, her feet are all sprawling. But she can sit and look cute and turn her head and stuff. 
here. Okay, so there's the baby and here's the mama. So if you haven't made the mama, go make her. Baby and mommy, yay! They're so cute. Well, Catherine Mitchell, I hope you made a beautiful baby Pegasus or horse or whatever you decided to do. Um, show me pictures as you know and I'm sure you will on Facebook and Instagram. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and it definitely make both of them. They're so adorable. Um, I know they require a lot of bands but um, I hope that that doesn't matter to you that you make them anyway. <laughs> Yay! It's so cute. I just want to play with them. But yeah, um, their feathers can get a little um, all over the place, but you can kind of straighten them out and make them look pretty for a picture. Yay! Yay! Okay, everyone, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you for the next tutorial.